Hello and welcome to the shop. I have a very good friend. His name is Kenneth Wines. You've heard me talk about him before. I've turned some of his blanks before. But Kenneth makes some, some of the most amazing blanks. And I'm going to be turning one of those today. Check this out. It has footprints on it. Four puppy footprints. Isn't that cute? This is a maple blank and the footprints are done in walnut. It's laser cut. It's already tubed, it's already squared, and ready to go. This is the way it came to me. So today, we're gonna turn this, this Kenneth Wines blank, and we're gonna mate it to a Sierra kit. Before I start turning, I just want to give you a quick look at the blank. Isn't that cute, the little feet? It's just, this is just a really nice blank, and it's gonna make a really nice pin. This blank turned really nice. I mean, the maple, it just cuts so nice. It's like hot butter. And I don't know if you could see it in the video. I could see it when the blank was turning, but everywhere there's a foot, there would be like a little convex area um, because you know you would hit that and it was a little harder. So you would kind of bounce out a little bit. So I had to kind of work to clean that up. I think I did a really nice job. Sanding will, uh, will really, will really take care of smoothing this blank out. And it is gonna be something special. Maple is such a light colored wood, and whenever you pair a dark wood up with a light wood, in this case walnut, it could be paduke or any other dark colored wood, and you sand, the dust from the walnut will actually stain the maple. So what we like to do is put what I'm gonna call a sanding sealer on there. Now I don't have any sanding sealer, but I do have thin CA glue. So I'm gonna put one coat of thin CA glue on that blank. We're gonna let it spin dry for about 20 seconds, and now when we sand the blank, the dust from the walnut will not stain the maple. I've got my 150 grit sandpaper. I'm just gonna start working the blank. The other thing we talked about not having the dark woods bleed into your light woods, you also won't have the bushings bleed onto your blank. Have you ever had that happen where you're sanding a light colored blank and the dust from the bushings will actually uh, work its way uh, onto the blank and stain the ends of the blank. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. I'm running at about 700 RPMs and just want to get a little bit more power or speed. Okay, we got a nice, smooth, flat surface. I can feel from end to end no tool marks. Let's take a look at the blank. Take a look. There is nowhere on that blank where the walnut dust stained the maple or the bushing, the metallic bushing dust stained the blank. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the camera off. We're going to run through the rest of our grits. I'll come back and show you what it looks like when I'm finished. I've swapped out my turning bushings for my non-stick bushings, and I'm just going to clean the blank up here with some denatured alcohol. Now, these bushings, these nonstick bushings that I have, they were actually made to be used on a mandrel, but I have found that when I'm turning a blank like this, I can actually use them between centers just fine. We're gonna give this a few minutes to fully dry, let all that denatured alcohol evaporate, and then we'll start applying a CA finish. Lathe is turned all the way down to a little over 500 RPMs. I'm gonna apply my first coat of CA. Actually, this would be my second coat because I guess I used the first coat as a sanding sealer. And notice I just wipe right up on the bushings. Do not worry about those bushings. If they get gunked up, you can put them on your mandrel, use a skew and clean them right up and they're ready to use again. Take a look how that looks. It's a beautiful blank. This is gonna be incredible. Isn't that pretty? We gotta get four, maybe five more coats of this thin CA on there. Uh, and then we'll uh, put a few coats of medium. I'm gonna shut the camera off, go ahead and finish the CA because uh, this is a time consuming process. And once it's done, I'll come back and show you what the blank looks like right before we start to uh, micro mesh it. I just finished squaring up the ends of my blank. 
I have a little bit of a lip here and a little bit of a lip here where I had some buildup on my nonstick bushings, but the micro mesh pads will take that right off. I'm gonna go ahead now, micro mesh the blank, and we'll come back in a few minutes and take a look at it right before we start putting our wax on it. Take a look at the shine on that blank. That's micro mesh only. This is really, maple Maple's such a nice wood to turn. It always looks so beautiful. And it just is a great wood to be accented with any other color wood. All right, let me put a little bit of uh, Renaissance wax on here and then we'll get it buffed up. I have assembled a great number of these Sierra style pins. So instead of talking through this one, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and press it together. That is a beautiful pin. I don't know what dog mom would not like to have that in her purse. This was a really fun pin to turn and it that that's all you can say. It just was a lot of fun to turn and I know a lot of people who would love to have this pin. We've got a lot of dog moms out there. Not sure what I'm going to do with it. Not sure who I'm going to give it to. If you're interested in Kenneth Wines, Check him out on Facebook. That's really the only place you'll find him. Just look up Kenneth Wines, W-I-N-E-S, and you'll see some of the stuff he produces. I'd really like to thank you for joining me in the shop today. I want you to know that you are always welcome in my shop. Come back and see me again real soon, and have a great evening.